guys, how are you? It's your girl, Kate Stoltz. I figured I would do a video because I'm always uploading photos, but um, that doesn't really tell a story. It's just a snapshot. And uh, it's the week of Thanksgiving. So I thought it would be a great time to just say hello. And I'm grateful for all of you that are following me and you uh, cheer up my day by commenting on my photos. I read all the comments, so it means a lot to me, and I'm grateful for all of you. Um, let's talk about Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So Thanksgiving is obviously a big deal for everyone. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Thanksgiving and what it means to me. So growing up, Thanksgiving was always important, but one Thanksgiving was a little different than the rest, and I think it's important to acknowledge that type of Thanksgiving, and uh, that is the Thanksgiving that is spent alone, or at work, or if your finances are tight and you're unable to get a turkey and spend your money on all the trimmings. Um, that kind of Thanksgiving can be very lonely. I personally had a Thanksgiving like that in Florida when right before I moved up to New York. I had just sold my car, so I wasn't driving anywhere. I was packing up my apartment, um, everything was in boxes, and I was getting ready to move up to New York City. I, I guess the day before, I realized that it was going to be Thanksgiving and that I didn't have any plans, I didn't have any food prepared or anything. So I spent the day painting my house, or painting my apartment, because I was renting and I wanted to return it the original white color so I didn't get charged. And I realized I didn't have anything, like any food prepared or anything. So I walked to CVS, which was like two miles away, and bought one of those frozen boxes of food, like with stuffing and turkey and mashed potatoes. And I walked back the two miles and I put it back, put it into my oven for like 30 minutes and I ate it. It was absolutely disgusting. It was a very lonely day um, because it just made me realize how alone I was without my family. So if you're spending Thanksgiving alone or at work, I get it. It sucks. Um, if finances are tight and you're unable to go out and get a big turkey, um, that sucks too. So just know that, um, you know, just be grateful. We can all just be grateful for what we have right now. That's what Thanksgiving is about. It makes it a little more difficult when you go on uh, Instagram or Facebook and you see all these big lavish spreads of food, but that's not our reality. That's someone else's reality. And, um, you know, this Thanksgiving, I'm just going to be thankful for the things that I do have and try to focus on being happy and content. Um, that's what Thanksgiving means to me. So anyways, I just wanted to bring that up because I think a lot more people kind of struggle with holidays than we realize. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's Thanksgiving, it's holidays, everybody's happy and everything, but that's not always the case. So if you're feeling that type of, um, you know, sadness around the holidays, just know you're not alone. Just keep going, um, you'll get through this, and um, the best we can do is just be thankful for what we have, no matter where we are in our life. You know, if, if we are at the point of being alone or whatever, or if we're surrounded by family and a big feast, you know, we can just be grateful for what we have. So that's what Thanksgiving means to me. Now, Black Friday, um, I never really celebrated Black Friday until like three years ago. You know, I, I got into the fashion industry and I started wanting, wanting to shop and I'm also a designer. So it means a big deal to me as a designer because like I obviously want people to come onto my website and buy things. By the way, all of my Black Friday sales are already up because I'm planning to spend Thanksgiving with family. And Black Friday, I'm planning on doing all of my Christmas shopping. So all of my Black Friday sales are already up. Go check it out. Uh, there's some great stuff on there. And I priced things as low as I could um, while still covering costs and everything else like that. So there's great deals on there. Go check it out. Um, 
But yeah, I'm super excited about Black Friday this year because I have so many things I wanna shop for. I wanna do all of my holiday shopping you know, on Black Friday so that I can get all the deals and everything. Um, while we're talking about Black Friday, I made a list of some gifts, like under $100 for women in your life. I find a lot of holiday gift lists under $100 to be kind of unrealistic because they have like popcorn poppers and waffle makers and everything like that on there. And that's great if you're like, you know, if your friend is really into making waffles and all she talks about is waffles, give her a waffle maker. But like, I don't want to receive a waffle maker. I want to receive something that feels special and something that I'm going to want to keep in my life no matter where I go, no matter where I move. So I kept that in mind while I made the list. And I, I listed a bunch of items that I have received as gifts over the past years, or, you know, there are several products that I've tried, you know, in the past couple of years. Like a good example is I listed two perfumes that I really love. So whenever I travel, I'm always trying the perfumes at the duty free in the airport. And I've, I personally have like, six perfumes in my closet. I wear perfume all the time. So I listed two of my favorite perfumes. There's one from Salvatore Ferragamo and one from, uh, um, actually, I forget the other brand, but I just love, I love the scent. And I like, they're some of my favorite perfumes that I've tried. Um, and then another example is uh, one, the, my favorite gift on the list is the Little Book of Chanel. It's $12.47. $12 a photographer friend gave it to me one Christmas as a thank you for you know working with him during the year. And I just felt like it was such a special gift. It was only, you know, basically it was $13, but it was such a special gift. I actually have it right here. And I'm not like affiliated with Chanel, I wish I was but like I have it right here and I keep it because I'm, first of all, I'm into fashion, so I find it really interesting. And it also looks really great, like just on my, on my shelf here. So I, I included a bunch of items like that that are like really meaningful. They look beautiful in your house or they're really nice to use. Um, and I made sure to include gifts that you can give to your grandmother, your mother, your niece, niece or sister, whatever. It's basically between the ages of 18 to whenever. Um, so you should be able to find something on there. I spent a lot of time on the list, so go check it out. It's on my website. Um, so just go to my blog and uh, go to my fashion blog and you'll find it right there. It's right on top of the list. Uh, I'll also include the link underneath this video, <laughs> so go check it out. Um, yeah, I'm excited about happy about Thanksgiving and um, Black Friday. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful Black Friday, whether you're working or with family or friends or traveling or just trying to make it in life. You know, I hope it's a great day and you enjoy it to the utmost that you can with what you have. So thanks for listening. All right, I'll try to do this more often because I feel like this is more fun than just taking a picture and I get to talk to you. And don't forget to, after you look at the list, make sure to comment. If there's something on the list that you think shouldn't really be on there, let me know. If there's a specific item that you think should definitely be on there, let me know too. And let me know what your favorites are because this helps me in the future when I'm doing stuff like this, I'll probably do it next year. So your comments, again, I read all of the comments. So feedback, feedback, please, I love it. You know, even if it's negative comments about like, oh, you know, it's not realistic or whatever, that helps me to make a better list in the future. So uh, again, happy Thanksgiving, Black Friday,